Hello YouTube and welcome back. I can actually say welcome back because I do have a subscriber right now. Shout out to my good friend the rooster. Thank you for the support. Holy shit, is that Jennifer Hale? For those of you who don't know who Jennifer Hale is, she is Bayonetta from Bayonetta 3 or Kino Shepard from the Mass Effect trilogy. Okay, so the first stage is pretty simple and straightforward. Hide behind these boxes and shoot at her. Sometimes you can stab her if you'd like. Uh, the shots are pretty slow. Uh, try not to get her melee range a lot to her because she has a melee attack and her melee attack is actually pretty powerful and uh, knocks you up. After the first stage is over, she will be diving into the sludge and she will do this laser attack which can be also easily dodged, you just need to jump, but it will destroy the boxes so you can't hide behind these boxes when she stops jumping in and out of the sludge. Just shoot her when she's in the sludge and when she floods the stage, uh, jump into those B things. I personally have a harder time switching between the ledges and the bees, so I prefer to stick to the bees. Also a tip for facing Ninesorg, you can stun her with your special attack, her blob shot. This can stun Ninesorg and you can juggle her into the air like the normal enemies. I just didn't showcase this in this fight. One of her attacks can be deflected back onto her, you just need to wait for the prompt. You can't just uh, press uh, the melee button whenever you'd like. Whenever she will appear from beneath the sludge, uh, the ground will start to be destroyed uh, from the area that she will pop out from. So, careful about that. At the end of the fight, she'll release one last attack, and that attack will fill the whole bottom of the screen. So you'll need to stick to the air and never fall down. Because if you fall down, you'll die. I mean, you won't instantly die, it will be 60 damage, which is half your life every time it hits you, and it moves pretty fast, so you'll most likely die in 2 seconds. Why is she still breathing? Hey, nice work killing Ninetor. Thanks. Well, okay, she's dead. Bounty. How do you feel, Bounty Hunter? I, I feel pretty good. I, I I really didn't know if we'd be able to pull it off. All right, it's time. Time for what? Time to carve out a piece of her. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat. But since it's your first, I'll let you pick. Oh God, I can't look. I can't. I can't. <laughs> There is also an optional boss fight, I mean, quote unquote boss fight. There is an HP bar, but it's not exactly a fight because the boss won't fight back. Five Torb, who has been tied up the whole time at the top of the screen, you can actually kill her. Uh, it's completely optional, it doesn't affect the game, but we leave nobody behind and she unlocks dialogue every time you beat her up like if you attack her she starts speaking with every attack so it's better to attack her than not to another boss i i think like a, a bonus secret boss good work i like the mobility knife he unlocks and that's how we beat night organ 5 torque see you rooster <laughs> 